So DJI has recently unlocked the ability to use these FPV goggles with the Mini 3 Pro and the Mavic 3 drones alongside the Aveda. And also DJI has released a new set of goggles and a new motion controller that gives you a lot more flexibility when you're out shooting and a lot more creative control when you're flying. So in this video, I wanna show you these new goggles and the new motion controller and also show you how you could fly the Mini 3 Pro in this FPV style. Now for me, this is huge because I don't necessarily wanna bring an FPV drone everywhere that I go. FPV is just a tool in the toolkit. And so for me, I'm always traveling or out just in a backpack. So less gear is always better. And it's great to be able to have the FPV capabilities with a drone that I'm already carrying. And all I have to bring additionally are the goggles, which are small and compact, and the motion controller, which could just slide into my backpack and not, take up a ton of extra room. So these are the DJI Integra goggles. It's a new set where the battery's integrated into the goggles themselves. So it makes it a much easier experience when you're flying because this is all you need. You don't have to have any cables hanging off. Now also with this set of goggle, what's changed is how you control the menu system. There's a toggle switch on top and a back button versus the other set of goggles where it's all done through swipes. Personally, I like the physical buttons, especially because when these are on your head and you're touching the buttons, you want something physical that you can easily touch and change your menu settings. Now there's also a micro SD card slot in the goggles themselves so that if you wanna record what you're seeing through the goggles, you can do that just pressing downwards on the menu and clicking the record button. So these goggles are easy to use. You just adjust the field of view using the two sliders below the eyepieces to get it crystal clear. And then you have your couple buttons up here on the top. So if you pull down, you'll have the option to record you can do your head tracking and you can also change your brightness. If you pull to the right, you have your status, which allows you to change between your different drones. You have the Aveda, you have the air units, then you have the Mini 3 Pro, Mavic 3, Mavic 3 Classic, and Mavic 3 Pro. So there's a lot of different options to fly in FPV with the various drones that DJI offers. Then you have your settings, which allow you to change your safety settings. You could also adjust your obstacle avoidance to whether break or bypass something. You could also set things like your return to home altitude. You have your control of the drone itself, so you could change FPV or follow mode, and I'll show you the difference in a second. You can change your camera settings here, even add things like guidelines. And then there's a more section which just shows you some virtual flight. Now, if you pull up, this is where you can do manual or auto settings. So I'm gonna switch over to manual because I wanna have the light not fluctuating. Now, when you're changing your camera settings, you can also use the motion controller. On the side of the motion controller is a jog wheel that you can spin up and down to change the various settings, but also you can click in and select settings. So enough features to be able to control everything that you need to control, but not overly complicated. Now, with the motion controller, you now have more features built into this controller to make it easier to fly. So to start the drone, you use the orange lock button and you press twice. It's gonna start the propellers flying and then you press and hold the orange button and the drone's gonna ascend into the air. Now to land, you just do the same thing. You just press and hold this orange button and it's gonna descend and land on the ground. All right, so let's take it off again and let me show you how you can fly this thing using the motion controller too. So there's a few ways that you can control the flight using the motion controller too. So on the top, there's a joystick. When you press up, the drone's gonna ascend into the air. So it's just gonna go up. And if you pull down on this joystick, the drone's gonna drop down towards the ground. Now, if you pull left, the drone's gonna slide to the left, and if you pull right, the drone's gonna slide to the right. So you have a few controls right here on this joystick. Now, if you wanna fly in the FPV mode, what you do is use the trigger underneath, and you can control the movement of where you're flying by pulling on the trigger, which pushes you forward, or pulling back on the trigger, which moves you backwards. And by default, going backwards is fairly slow. So you can go into your menu settings and change the setting if you wanna move backwards faster. Now to change the direction of where you're pointing, you're just gonna rotate your wrist left and right. It's not a twist of the wrist, but a rotate. So like you're having the motion controller fall to the right or the left. And then if you wanna to go towards the ground, you point the motion controller down towards the ground. And if you wanna go into the sky, you point up into the sky. So you can see on the screen, there's the dot and that's where the drone is gonna go. And the center marker that I have on the screen is just so I could see where center is of the frame. But wherever you point that circle is where the drone's gonna fly. And once you pull on the trigger, it's gonna start moving towards that circle. So let's go to this trail over here. All right, so now I'm flying and I'm just pointing the circle where I wanna go and the drone's gonna follow it. And if I turn, 
you're gonna see that there's gonna be that FPV bank that you see in the footage rather than having a flat horizon. If you wanted to have a flat horizon and have more of a standard drone kind of feel to it, you're just gonna pull up your menu, go down to your settings, go to your control and change it from FPV mode to follow mode. Now, when you fly straight and turn, the drone's not gonna bank like an FPV drone. It's gonna have a straight horizon the entire time. So it's a different flying experience when you're using the follow mode versus FPV mode. And you just need to choose the one that you think is gonna work best for the type of scene that you're flying. Now, the good thing about using the Mini 3 Pro is that the obstacle avoidance will work. And so mine's set to break. So if I go towards these bushes, I'm gonna fly straight towards it. The drone's just gonna stop. So it's not gonna go forward and hit those bushes. And so this flies in normal mode and you can't fly in cine mode when you're using the FPV goggles. However, you could switch it over to sport mode, just clicking on the mode button, and now I'm gonna be in sport mode. And so now when I fly, it's gonna be much faster. However, the obstacle avoidance is turned off. So if you're flying on the Mini 3 Pro or one of the Mavic drones, then you don't have obstacle avoidance in sport mode, but you do have it in normal mode. Now, if you're flying fast and you wanna just stop suddenly, you can hit the brake button. And what it's gonna do is pause the drone midair and stop it from moving. And so now whatever you do with the controller, it's not going to move. So if you need to take your goggles off for a second, or you just wanna stop the drone because you're flying in sport mode and you, you might hit something, well, you could click this button. Now to exit out of it, you just click it again, and now you're back to flying. So my drone's at 17%, I need to bring it home. Now you can either fly back to the home point, which you see on the screen, or you could use the return to home feature. So you could press and hold the mode button, it's gonna, take the control away from the motion controller, and so you can let the drone just come back and land, which is much easier when you're flying in this kind of mode. And so if you wanna get a set of these goggles in the motion controller, the goggles are $499 and the RC Motion 2 is $239. However, if you don't have an Avada and you wanna get one of those as well, there's a new Explorer combo that comes with this set of goggles, the motion controller and the Avada, and it's $1278. So it's now cheaper to jump into the FPV world. And if you just wanna add this FPV functionality, you can get the goggles and the motion controller separate. I'll include links to everything down below in the description. But next, you should check out this video right here, which goes through the DJI Mavic 3 Pro. And you can use this drone with this set of goggles and motion controller. Also, this drone has a lot of really awesome features. See you over there.